In this tutorial, we will discuss how to attach the PDMS to the FTO glass using Corona Discharge. First, we clean our FTO glass by sonicating in acetone for 5 minutes, in methanol for 5 minutes, and then in water for 5 minutes. We store it in milliq water until just before using it, and then we use a nitrogen gun to dry all the water off of the chips. It is very important to dry all the water to ensure maximum bonding to PDMS. Next, we take our pre-cut PDMS and remove it from the Kapton tape side. We will place it on a glass microscope slide with our plastic aligner, which is the exact same size as the PDMS chunk we cut. We want to flip it so that the Kapton side is now facing up on the large glass microscope slide. We will then center it on the slide using a plastic PDMS aligner, as shown. Uh, this fits exactly onto the glass slide as I designed it. To remove the PDMS, we use a razor blade to uh, cut along all the edges and ensure that it is entirely off the cap down tape. We will then use a pair of flat ended tweezers to slowly pull up on it and ensure that it doesn't rip as we lift up. We then have the clean bottom Captan tape side and we want that facing up on our glass slide. So we place it directly onto the glass slide and then we will place our plastic aligner on top of that and center it on the glass slide. Be careful not to drop it in this process as any dust will impede the corona discharge sealing. Once the PDMS is removed and on the glass slide, we will wipe both sides of the bonding step, which includes the conductive side of the FTO and the captan facing side of the PDMS using a chem wipe soaked in methanol. This will remove any of the dust that accumulated and allow tight sealing. Next, we will ensure the Corona Discharge Machine is aligned and plugged into the socket. We make sure it's 2 centimeters above the surface of the chip on top of the styrofoam plate. The styrofoam plate allows us to move it backwards and forwards in the machine uh, without getting shocked. We will use the Corona Discharge for 1 minute and 30 seconds on the FTO and for 1 minute and 30 seconds on the PDMS. During this time, we will repeatedly move it backwards and forwards along the length of each surface. If you can see arcing, you are probably too close to the head of the Corona Discharge. Next, we take our pre-drilled rig with evenly spaced holes containing screws. The coordinates of these holes with screws in them should be the same as the coordinates as the FTO chip and the coordinates on the plastic divider. When making these holes, ensure that each can fit evenly on the rig without a lot of resistance. First, we're going to put our FTO on the rig with the conductive chip side facing upwards. Then we will take the slide with our PDMS and put it facing the bonding side down. Try to align this as much as possible and slowly lower the PDMS off of the glass and onto the FTO. This step is tricky and you may need to use tweezers to pull it off of the glass slide. After that, use your hands to push down on the PDMS to ensure that there is no air bubbles uh, between the surfaces. Press the edges especially, as this is not likely to not bond entirely. Finally, you can remove the plastic liner and allow it to bond overnight. 